Okay, in this video, I want to go through exactly how to set up an email nurture sequence in system. So basically, when you're in your dashboard, you just go up the top to emails and go to campaigns, and then you'll arrive on this screen. And all you need to do is hit this create button on the right hand side and give it a name. So let's call this one this events nurture sequence. And hit OK or save. And then to open it up, we just click on the actual name of it. And then we're in this screen and we just need to create our emails. So basically we hit create. What's our first email going to be? Let's have a look. This is going to be the subject. And it's going to be coming from my email. And I like to use the classic editor because um, if you have all the visual elements in it, um, Sometimes it gets picked up more by spam. So the classic editor is easier to use and that's just text. So that's our title. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste across. And this is all you really need to do, just have it prepared beforehand. I'm just going to paste in the link here. So I've got a freebie that I wanna link in. So I'm just gonna get the link and then I'm going to attach it there. So for this one, I'm using a Dropbox file. So I'm just going to grab this off the screen for a minute. And grab that link. And so this now I just highlight this to add my link. And then we go to this paper clip and add our link in here. So we just paste that in and then hit the tick. And that is now linked so that they can download it. And then we can just put this and we can put this events store. Um, you. Okay, so that is email number one. Now on the right hand side, you can change your sender name or your email address. And then we're just going to hit save and publish. And then it's going to ask us when this email is going to be sent. So we're just going to leave that one blank because it's going to be the first one that we send and zero days after sending any previous emails because this will be the first one we're just going to hit activate and then hit exit and so now you can see that email is there so now we need to keep creating our other emails the next one let's grab that okay so the next email i'm just going to grab the title of it so i actually have two freebies that i'm sending out and then hit save. And we're going to do the same again and grab our email copy and send that over. So this one, I am giving away a stationary guide as well so that people know how to use um, the, the templates that they get from me. So I'm just going to grab a copy of that share link. And now I'm going over here and pasting that in. And then we just do the same thing again, nothing else to change. We're just going to hit save and publish. And at this time, we're going to be changing this. So it's going to be sent after this one. And it's going to be sent one day after. So this is a day after they hit our email list. So the first one will go out the day that they arrive on our email list. This one will go out one day later and we just hit activate. And then exit. Right, so now we've got day, the one that's going immediately, then a day later. Now we're going to create another one that is going to be going out little bit after that uh, this one is going to be my icon as well okay this one's just giving them some valuable information like how to change things in template which is the program that I use for my templates
Okay. And then the same again, we're going to save and publish. Only this time we are going to be going after the second one. And because it's going in sequence, we want this to be two days after they hit the list and activate. And then when you exit out, you'll see we've got one day after, two days after, and so on. So it depends how many you want to add to your sequence. So that's all you need to keep doing. Now, for this first one to be triggered, you just need to make sure that when you have your funnel set up, so if you go back to your funnels and you go to your freebie, you just want to make sure that in the automation rules, when they sign up, they are getting a tag assigned to them. And so the tag is going to set off the sequence. So if we go into automations to the rules, and we're just going to change this so that it says when someone um, subscribes to the freebie, that it ad adds a tag, but we're also going to add that they um, are subscribed to the email. So let's just create. So the trigger is when the tag is added, that the action is that they are going to be subscribed to a campaign and the campaign is that one. So we're just going to save that now. And so now whenever they sign up, they're going to be getting that first email in our campaign. And then it's going to take them through from there and give them all of those emails in the campaign. So that is how that all works.